You're listening to Fox Given, the one where we talk all about nipples. <laughs> why is that? Why is that nipples, nipples with a question mark? What nipples. You want? Nipples. <laughs> nipples. Yeah, nips. Hi, Reed. Hello, Florence. How are you? Really tired. I hate like starting a podcast with a moan. I think yeah. I'm quite a moany person. I've realised in my old age. <laughs> what makes you say that? I just love a good moan. Fair I enough. I love it. That would probably make just, you a moany person. Yeah, I think I think I do. I think I do do it. I'm just very tired. My BV has flared up again. Well, that because would... I think, yeah. one, because I'm stressed. Stressed. Two, mm-hmm. because I'm overrun, like I'm run down even, overrun. Overrun. Same thing, I guess. Um, three, because I had sex without a condom the other night. Oh. Oh, let that bit of information slip, did we? <laughs> I'm dead. I mean, that would make that uh, would make sense. Your vagina, you've yeah. been you've been looking after your vagina so hard recently, and then yeah, it was probably like foreign yeah. object. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. I let let her down. Yeah, I let her down. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, you never know. You might have got it anyway, even with the condom. So yeah. Probably because I think when you're run, when you're run down and stressed, like vagina issues happen really easily. Yeah. And also, I'm due on my period, so like all of those things oh God, combined make you like so susceptible to it. Yeah, that was me last week. It was like a combination yeah. of like period, PMS, feeling ill, calm down, hangover, like everything. And I was like, I'm so ill. <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> Oh wait, I mean, tonight. Okay, that's good. You need a night yeah. off. You need to just chill mm. out. Mm-hmm. Also, new working mums mm-hmm. is out, so that was like that's been my binge-worthy content. That's what I've been binging yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Wait, I think I might have finished it. Did I? If I didn't, I'm gonna watch the rest of that tonight. Yeah, it was some good, some good shit. Very well written. Very well written yeah. comedy. So what's been going on with you, Reed? Well, apart from our little stressful situation of being potentially scammed with fucking LA flights. Um, and I, I swear this has been the worst month for me, you know, like my letterbox gets broken into and all my mail's stolen and I'm in touch with the police and the council. And then someone in America is using my credit card. And so I get a new credit card. And then on top of this, like we book some flights through what we think is a reputable travel agency company. And then tr- her trust pilot's like, nah, don't trust these scammers. So we're like, oh, fuck. Have we just been scammed? Um, so yeah, yeah we're, we're getting that sorted out. The thing is like scamming, it just, it happens. Like they are professionals. It happens to all of us. Yeah. And we just feel, you know, it, it makes does. us feel stupid, but it makes, oh, I feel angry about it. It happens. It happens. You did it, you're protected. You used your credit card. Yeah, use like, my credit it's card. It's all good. Use Honestly, if I wouldn't recommend anyone gets a credit card unless they can pay it off month by month, but the use of a credit card is you are protected. I do want to say a little hilarious update that just dawned yes. on me yesterday. Yeah. Um, so a part of what I do on OnlyFans is custom videos. I do these custom videos. Yeah. Um, please don't ask on my Instagram because I could get taken down. If you want a custom video, email me or DM me via OnlyFans, please. Right. That's a really fucking good point. Yeah, don't do it on Instagram because Instagram will see that as Just sign up to OnlyFans yes. and actually pay for your content yeah. and interactions. Plus you can get whatever you want, any crazy fantasy that you want. I mean, obviously there are yeah. limits that I'll do, but one of the best <laughs> ones that I've had recently has been someone wanted me to record my fart and send it to them. And they were willing to pay Wait. for me to film was myself this, farting. Was this after the episode where we spoke to, I can't remember what her name was. Um, oh, fart, uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Matto, uh, fart jar lady. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I think so. I got an email through being like, can you fart for me? So I was like, okay, figured out a custom price. And I was How much literally... Sh- Actually, that's, I don't know if that's a good question. I mean, I ask. don't mind. Um, I think a lot of people don't talk about money enough. My custom videos generally start at 300 pounds. And then depending on what you want me doing, where and what, whatever, then it builds mm. on that, you know. 
um, some th- sometimes I say no. Like there was one person that asked for a crushing video where he wanted me to smoke a bunch of cigarettes and crush them with my heel. And the crushing part's cool, but I'm not gonna smoke a bunch of cigarettes. I don't no. smoke anyway. So I was like, sorry, dude, I can't do that for you. Um, no. This person wanted me to fart on video just one singular fart and I was like okay I can't do that for the low price you're offering but what I can do is a half price video for you and fart a couple of times because like what a fart is like a couple of seconds long how how did you time it so it's just if I'm (laughs) if I'm remember and I have a fart I will get my phone out film it film it for a few seconds and then I'm just gonna shove it all together in one big video and send it over and that was my what the fuck am I doing with my life moment last night I was <laughs> laughing manically maniacally on my own filming my own farts just like what the fuck is my life <laughs> it was so good um so wait yeah. were you filming it actually coming out of your bum hole um no that's quite hard to do I think I would the thing is as soon as you spread <laughs> your ass and fart, oh, yeah. sound's gone. It's just like sound's a- Sound's gone, yeah. Yeah, it was just a blow. <laughs> so um, I was, it was a mixture, you know, some was in trousers, some was in underwear, <gasps> some like I slipped down the underwear, but you can't see my anus, you know? It's just, it's just the noise. I was impressed with the noises I was making. Wow. I was like, wow, what a good time to f- film, you know? I was, I was gassy, it was great. So this person's gonna get a great fucking custom. I mean, you said before we started recording today that you've got gas. I have. So. I've got trapped wind right now. And I don't know what to do. Like, I'm... You've got like the nerves from doing all the fart videos that now your stomach's just like preparing <laughs> for more. You're like, I've well, accidentally I trained my butthole. Like this. Yeah, I've accidentally yeah. trained my butthole to like wait until I'm recording, you know? And now I'm like, yeah. I-, I-, I can't fart anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so yeah, that was my hilarious. I like fully cackled yesterday about it. It was a good moment. That is good. great. I love. Yeah. I love. <laughs> I love. I love custom videos. They get me doing like the most craziest shit. Yeah, please send in customs. Yeah, I need more customs. So yeah, bring bring them to me too. Customs are fun, not especially sure when they're. Them. I don't really want to do. Fun. Yeah, I was. I, it took me a while to decide whether or not I wanted to do that because I was yeah. like. Uh, but then again, it's just a fart, you know, like, wh- like who, there are so many people out there that think it's disgusting, but it's like, do I think it's disgusting? I grew up in a family household where it's very normal to fart. Yeah. And have flatulence I just don't think I would be able to do it. It's, like, I don't think yeah. I would be able to time that. I just don't think it would work out for me. Well, I have, a, I have a group of friends, which is like my festival group of friends, and we're obsessed with our own farts. So we just... We film each, film ourselves farting or voice note our farts to each other just for jokes. So it's, I don't know, it's training, it's practice. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> farts are fucking funny. Okay, it doesn't matter. Love a good uh, fart. Tumbleweed. Joke. And um, I feel like, th- you know, there's a massive divide in the curious fuckers. There'll be people there that think farts are disgusting and childish, and then other people that are like, no, that it's hilarious. Toilet humor is funny. Uh- yeah. yeah it's just um, you know take it how it is i don't think probably yeah i, I wouldn't want to hear my friends farts fair enough it so, is yeah maybe it is intimate florence when you hear that not toilet humor fair enough team read toilet, toilet humor. humor yeah yeah <laughs> God, yeah all right then curious fuckers shall we talk about nipples yes nipples we want to talk about nipple play Mm. and i'm gonna just destroy loads of people's minds right now remember nipples are for all genders all of them right so whatever you're seeing or thinking right now you're like oh my god they're just gonna talk about women's nipples no we're gonna talk about all nipples of all genders every nipples every nipple so yeah um how about you Florence, do you have nipples? I do have nipples. <gasps> yeah. Shock. I was and do you have nipples? Mm. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. Just checking. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. Um, I love my nipples being played with. It's one yeah. of my favourite things Nipple in play. the whole world. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. actually like gagging for that. I haven't had anyone like suck on my nipples. For a really long time. Yeah. Sam used to be like so 
cruel because he knew and I got super sensitive nipples he would like sit on yeah. top of me and just play with my nipples for ages while I was like begging oh. him to stop and also obviously like having multiple nipple gasms oh my god uh. this is turning on. oh my god you you've had like oh I haven't had a nipple <laughs> orgasm since like before like, I don't know when I was like 23 oh something my god. like seven years that's ago. that's too long Florence it's it like if I, I know it's the only thing that switches me on. It's like my nipples are more sensitive and more, res- sorry, not sensitive, more responsive most of the time than my clitoris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They well, are, I mean, they're they a huge like erogenous zone for mm-hmm. all genders as well. Like, it's actually really strange. I think ev- people have very different, I mean, everyone's bodies are very, very different. My ex that I was with for four and a half years mm-hmm. hated his nipples being touched. Like, almost so much that like he would like jump out of his skin if I ever touched his nipple as a joke or like anything during sex it'd be like absolutely get off no yeah don't do that Mm. um probably because they were so sensitive but like he he wasn't okay with like that my last ex loved me pinching his nipples when we have when we fucked yeah mm -hmm. and it was so hot like having a button to switch when you're fucking that's gonna like take them into a new realm of pleasure into the next level that's that's how i feel if if i'm having sex it's like cool i'm having sex once my nipples are being stimulated at the same time it opens up like a whole new pleasure door and i can come so much more easily oh yeah i mean i could have people just playing my nipples with sex without sex Mm -hmm. when i was with that guy who's into lactation as well we would literally just be watching a movie and he would like suckle on my breasts oh my god and it wasn't even sex it was literally just that and it just felt so nice Mm, i feel like we need, need to point out as well that not everybody has sensitive nipples um, no. it's, it's a sliding scale so there's some people that have extremely sensitive nipples and other people that feel nothing at all nothing mm-hmm. um, and so it is just about communicating with your partner and seeing what kind of reaction they get I, I think a lot of especially a lot of blokes a lot of like cis dudes have never really had that question put to them before or, or mm-hmm. people have gone do you like your nipples being played with do they feel good can you feel something if I do this um because I think we're we're fooled into thinking it's a very feminine thing when it's not it's just a very pleasurable thing for everyone it is you know actually the first time that I saw a guy enjoying nipple play was in True Blood in that like vampire series and there was a scene where suki was getting with eric the vampire stop eric and she started sucking on his nipples and i was like oh my god i've never even thought of doing that to a guy and like he was like getting really like he was super into it in the show yeah i love it how like tv can open your eyes to that kind of thing yeah it, it can be very valuable but also in retrospect tv has has made it hard for us to enjoy nipple play because it's not part of it. Same with porn. There's barely any nipple play in porn unless you specifically look That's for so it. That's so true. Yeah, it's always just about oh my P God. and V. What do you... Have, have you ever gone down like the... This is kind of off topic, kind of not on top. It is on topic. <laughs> have you ever gone down like the deep, dark porn spiral of lactation? Have you I ever looked at it? I did back in my teenage years. Yeah, like milking machines I was really into for a while. Fascinating shit. Just Mm -hmm. like people fucking, but their nipples, I mean, their boobs are leaking milk. Yeah, that is hot. And it's a lot of like squeezing and like, (laughs) very, (laughs) I don't even know. I'm like, it's strange, it's cool, it's weird, it's wonderful. It's hot, man. Yeah, I mean, like I've always, I like the, the milking machine aspect of it. I always think that's hot. Yeah. Like, but then I like the whole strung up in bondage like cattle kind of situation mm. and then like the force of forced yeah yeah oh, this hot. is really hard oh, to shit. talk about when I haven't had any nipple play for a really long time I'm sorry man if I could reach through the screen and massage your nipples I would 
Oh, like, thanks. True I to do it myself. <laughs> Careful, we'll get removed by YouTube. No, <laughs> no. Um, imagine if you. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I I feel like my nipples are almost too sensitive. Like growing up, I could never, you know, I, being in a bra, being without a bra, sorry, was uncomfortable. I used to get the nipple chafage. Um, and I used to feel like that a lot of the time I used to feel really uncomfortable. Like I don't even really like direct nipple play. That can be too much for me. I like it over, over fabric, over material or a t-shirt or something. That's when it's most pleasurable for me. Um, it's That's different really for different, different people, right? Yeah, it's different for me. I don't think my nipples are that sensitive. It mm. sounds like yours are particularly like, yeah, because if you have to do it over material. And it can be I annoying. It kind of like just touching myself now. It feels kind of nice over material mm-hmm. in a weird way. I think you get a different sensation. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I I've always preferred like the sucking rather than just like if someone Direct. just mm. kind of like grazes with their fingers. It doesn't do as much for me as like a tongue and a mouth. Really? I think the sensation of a tongue and a mouth is really. Like that's the most amazing feeling for me. But like, if someone's mm. just kind of like, it's nice if they like tease with their fingers, like around and like on and like squeeze. But it's not as good. That's so interesting because mine's mine's the opposite way around. Like mouth and tongue don't do that much for me, but the graze does. Um, yeah, I always used to. It was fascinating. Also, I hated my nipples growing up. Like, not just hated them, I loathed them. I thought they were because they weren't the nipples that I'd seen in porn. The nipples mm. I'd seen in porn were very small and hard all the time. I don't know if you remember just being horrified and embarrassed of non-hard nipples. Oh my god, when they're like a little soft pyramid. Yeah, when they're little flat. And I used to think yeah. that that was really hideous and unattractive and I would be so embarrassed if anyone saw no. that. Which is ridiculous because yeah. when they're when they're flaccid is when I'm at my most horny. Like when they're like... Interesting. It's like when the actual nip itself is hard. But it, yeah. if I'm warm, but if the- I'm hot, then... Then and which most of the time that will be when I'm turned on. It's it's not yeah. all like shrunken in and tight and um and erect. You know, it's it's uh, nipples are fu- there's a lot going on with nipples. Yeah, when I'm when I'm cold, like it all shrivels up. Oh yeah, yeah, and, like yeah. goes hard. Yeah, and like we the think looks areola, sexy. we think feels sexy, yeah, but I don't know if it does. But when I'm turned. on when I'm not turned on and I'm warm, it's just all very soft. The whole nipple is very, very soft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then if I'm turned on, I feel like I've got the soft outer bit, but the actual nipple bit is hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> I've also noticed if, if I've been playing with my nipples at the same time, they will get soft as I'm like reaching climax, like as, I, as I'm getting more turned on. But as I'm actually coming, then they'll get really hard. But just the wow. nip, not the skin around it, not the areola. Bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I also don't know if you have the same thing. Like I, I've got quite big nipples, which you know I've learned to love. I, I used to not mm. like them. I used to literally have sex with a bra on because I was that ashamed oh. of them. It was ridiculous. Um, now I fucking love them, and mm-hmm. I, I, the the area around my boob is sensitive. The areola bit, um, the actual like nipple surface bit I feel yeah. nothing like it's like there's no feeling whatsoever but then the nipple oh. the nub itself is extremely sensitive huh and I always I wondered think... is that is that because you know that's that's where like a um, a baby will suckle from so it can't have hair because that maybe is I don't know maybe it will get infected or I don't know something like that I don't know I think I I don't have the same experience with that. I think I have, I think the whole thing for me is sensitive, but I have a lot smaller nipples than you. Yeah, maybe. Our nipples are very, very different. Mm. And we've seen, we've seen each other's nipples. I've seen your nipples. (laughs) I mean, we see each other's nips like all the time. We always just get interested in each other. Yeah, exactly, yeah. (laughs) If not creating OnlyFans content. (laughs) Literally, so normal, I like your body's like my body at this point yeah yeah exactly yeah um but with 
Uh, oh, and also the hair. So like I've got mm-hmm. I've got like regular hairy skin, you know, like regular like face hair around the boob. But then I have yeah. a few extra nipple hairs mm. that are like Same. the thick curly ones that um I again I used oh. to think were um maybe not curly. That <laughs> yeah, I was like, gonna say the, curly. Thi- hairs, I know I, they don't they don't grow that far. Um, but <laughs> thick, thick kind of like I don't know. I guess like as thick like enough a- to be pubes. Yeah, almost like an eyebrow. Yes, like an eyebrow hair. Maybe even like yeah, thicker than an eyebrow hair. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But I, again, I oh, used yeah, to I think I was like a total freak. I used to be like, mm-hmm. <gasps> I shouldn't be getting hair. It's like, no, that's bullshit. You get hair there. That's so normal. That was one of our first conversations. I swear, when we moved in together, that yes. was like, do you have, do you ever get nipple hairs? And we were like, yeah, yeah that turning hairs. point. Oh my god. Yeah, the reason why we created inspired come curious, come curious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and therefore fucks given. Yeah. Yes, mm. have you, so. Let's talk about nipple orgasms a little bit more. Yes. For you, how did this happen? So I think the first nipple gasm I had was with my ex, ex, ex. With okay, I say ex, ex, ex. Um, no, with my ex. <laughs> there ex, we go. Ex, 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 ex. Um, and it was the first time we got together, and I feel like. I was still trying to figure out nipple nipple play because I, it was still a very fine line of of what was comfortable and what was uncomfortable. Um, mm-hmm. Like the first time you, you know, pleasure yourself, pleasure your clitoris, and you're trying to figure out what works for you and where's best. And, and um, yeah, he did a lot of nipple play that session and I had an, a nipple gasm and I was shocked. And I mean, I was also like really high. We'd been smoking weed. So I think that also potentially help with the relaxation of it yeah Um, and like all your sensations are very heightened when you're high yeah um and it was just it was not what i was expecting because i had only up until that point only had clitoral orgasms so Mm. having an orgasm that wasn't clitorally stimulated blew my mind i still didn't I, i think even for maybe even a couple of years afterwards, I still didn't believe it was a nipple gasm, but it must have been. Yeah. You know, it was a huge climax. It was a huge explosion inside my body, and that yeah. wasn't directly involved with my genitals. It was like a whole body mm-hmm. climax. So, yeah, trying to learn that, and then slowly over time, like learning about it, and you kind of just need someone who's going to help you push over the uncomfortable barrier where you're like, oh no, no, it's too much, stop, and like help you push past that. And then that's when it becomes like extra intense and you are more likely to have Mm. nipple gasms. But it's hard to do. It's so hard. It's really hard. I mean, it's only happened to me once and Mm. it was with a partner. Back when, actually, the time that I had a nipple orgasm, it was when I was living with you. Oh, hello. Nipple buddies. Doors away at this time. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) And the only way that I can describe it is that like he was... I feel like he was using his mouth and his hands mm. and there was a lot of like caressing of the body as well as the yeah. nipples but it was very much like it was like there was some kind of like rhythm going on with his touch and stuff when it came to my nipples and I just remember having this kind of like full body like it's almost like there were like waves of pleasure just sort of like rippling up and down yeah. my whole body and it mm. was just it's like a continuous was, pleasure yeah. orgasm thing. It's very similar to yeah. how a G-spot orgasm feels like. But, but with, more body. Yeah, more body, less genitals. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, I feel like my my vagina, though, was like twitching in pleasure like as this orgasm was happening. Yeah, convulsing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I feel like the only way... Orgasm. Yeah, the only way to really have a nipple orgasm is to be very cons- it's almost like was well, it's like any orgasm yeah. there has to be a very consistent rhythm and you just have to keep going and like hit the right spot and have the right rhythm you yeah. just need to do that but with your nipples when you need, it comes to like you need hands, dedication mouths, i feel like dedication. i can't give myself a nipple gasm no, I, I, I don't think I, yeah, to. I don't think I've, I, it's only ever worked when somebody else has done it. Um, but it's I like, I need to be so relaxed. Yeah. You need to be horny as hell. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe even hung over. That's often when I, t- <laughs> I tend to be relaxed enough to come loads. Um, 
and like for someone to play you like an instrument to to have yeah. the dedication to be like okay I'm just gonna like play with your body and it's all calm and it's all chill oh. and just chill and relax and watch this film while I just play with your fucking body oh, <laughs> oh my god I miss uh. that so <laughs> I'm like building up to my ovulation week as well so I'm just like Fuck. it's so hard doing this podcast when you're not in like that kind of relationship i know i wish it was really acceptable just to pay for a sex worker because that would be ideal that's not what i would want either though because it's Mm. not just like you don't for me though yeah those kind of exploratory like things i feel like i would really want to be like in a loving connection with someone Mm, they they are and that would deepen the pleasure for me yeah they 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 are way more pleasurable when that happens but yeah (sighs) i mean for the meantime in the future can't you just find a little temp (laughs) nipple play temp a nipple play temp yeah maybe i should just put that on my field profile like just looking for someone to come over and suck my nipples <laughs> for hours uh, i mean that sounds <gasps> fucking great it does sound so good people pay good it top dollar for that good. yeah i even like <laughs> i got back in touch with my friend who was the guy that i was seeing that was really into it and i was like just I want to check see what where he's at like you know <laughs> never just maybe would want to come back and suck my nipples for a bit but we definitely transferred to the just friends thing so yeah, that's, yeah that's fine that's good uh, made it clear um i mean i still think you can find your nipple bud out there it's just it's a lot of admin it's a lot of work yeah that's hard you'll find I it i had a realize find it. yeah i had a realization though recently that it's just like all these like random sexual connections they're, they're not really doing it for me because mm-hmm. it's not what i want mm-hmm. so just gonna have to wait out and find the find the big the one right person mm-hmm. the big one um do you yes. play with your nipples during masturbation every time every time yeah absolutely that, wow every single time yeah i mean i find it really fucking hard to come anyway by myself i find like, it's not easy. I'm not like, mm, yeah, I'm going to have an orgasm. I'm like, mm. right, you need to focus. You need to, like, shut everything out in the world. I need to turn, most of the time, I need to, like, turn off the light. Even now, when I'm going back to porn and I have, like, a little, hmm, like a little little porn pre-starter, yeah. I have to put the porn down to be able to focus on coming. Wow. I don't play with my nipples that much when mm. it comes to masturbation. Um... Because I think because I prefer the sucking. Yeah, and you can't. It's really and I'm not, you can't mimic that. No, you can't. Well, no. <laughs> well, those clit sucker toys work quite well on nipples as well. Yeah, especially if you lube them up. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. But then yeah, you, I need to. I those toys hard. for me are always the ones that aren't charged. So I'm yeah. like, oh great idea. Oh fuck, I need to yeah. charge my sex. Toys. You need to have like a charging day. But I mean, oh, I wonder if you can, so I don't know, put your wand in a place that won't move and then just like both of your hands have two nipple sucking toys. Oh my God, that'd be so good. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty good. They're, they're too intense yes. for my nibs. Um, but I, I now have like figured out a positioning where, where I masturbate, where my hands are free. Because I used to just hold my wand and then fuck myself with a toy. But now I normally just like, put in an insertable toy and then put my wand so it's like facing towards me so the head's on my clit and the body is between my legs does that make sense so i'm not holding it upright i've like put it put it between yeah. my legs yeah, 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 and then yeah. i hold it there with my feet um and then it sort of like balances on my clit in like a really nice position and then I have free hands to either be on my phone doing porn stuff or playing with my nipples. Ah, oh, that is a great tip for everyone out there. But it's also a mission. Every time I want to masturbate, I've got to go through this whole rigmarole of setting everything up. I think my days of just like having a quick come are gone. Well, it was never a quick yeah. come. I can't kid myself. It was like a 30 minute like fucking hand cramp <laughs> scenario. Ah, so I talk about lactation quite a lot 
because obviously it's something that I'm really into. Mm-hmm. But are you, do you find lactation hot? Do you think it's a turn on for you? It's definitely a kink and it does turn me on, but it's not something I actively mm. seek, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but do you, do you have like, when, when you're having sex, do you have nipple play involved as well? Yes. Yeah. Um, but not sucking. Um, yeah, sucking as well. Yeah, but it's less pleasurable than fingers and hands. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I mean, I, I would like I, if I was with someone that was lactating, I, I'm sure I'd be so fucking into it. I would suck up that milk like a fucking Hoover. Yeah, I wonder if I would like it like or not someone else. Yeah, is it more just like the fantasy of your own rather than yeah, I think the it's lactation more about of somebody me. else? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. it's someone feeding from me mm, rather than you feeding where... from someone. Yeah, mm. I do like sucking nipples though; it's fun. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy giving nipple play as much as receiving. Like, I love yeah. boobs, you know, like female boobs. Well, not just yeah. I shouldn't say female, like femme. I just love titties titties and nipples i just love i love titties, titties. yeah oh, oh i just bury like, my faces just, yeah, titties. sensitive sensitive bodies yes mm. yeah mm. that's it really so yeah for anyone that doesn't know about lactation as a kink it's kind of just like being turned on by yeah either the idea of someone uh, breastfeeding from you or like basically suckling from you feed it like drinking milk from your boobs or you kind of get turned on by watching someone else do it or doing it mm. to someone else and it's actually I think way more common than we think it is yeah. like when I like first started like learning about my own kink I was like looking up some like vice articles and stuff and like a lot of people do it and it's like a really like almost like it goes beyond sex it becomes Mm. a really like nurturing experience for a couple and like a a really like like, cute way for them to connect the sort of like mummy daddy dom vibes yeah um yeah but i wonder if it's like mummy play yeah yeah i suppose it wouldn't be daddy dom would it no (laughs) drink from my milky chit. (laughs) um yeah it's definitely like mummy mummy vibes Um, yeah yeah and maybe that is the whole nurturing thing you know a lot of what we're into sexually is because of our childhood and because of our youth Mm -hmm. and like what what, especially if it's a fetish what sort of influenced us back then so feeling that warmth and care and comfort from breastfeeding from your mum or whether or not you don't remember it or you never had it, mm. you know, that the idea of someone caring for you that much and giving a part of themselves to you. And also the yeah. shame behind it as well, being like, no, that's not something I want, but your genitals want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of these things do come from shame. And like, I, I figured out where my kink for lactation came from a little while ago, which was, I had this like really random experience when I was like a kid, basically, mm-hmm. and I was on holiday. And I was playing with um, a friend that I had made, um, this little French girl. And we were playing like mummies and babies as kids do. <laughs> like yeah. kids are always playing mummies and babies, but yeah. we, we were getting, I was getting very serious about it. And I was like, well, let's like act Being out session. like what, what do babies do? And like, they obviously they feed on people's nipples. And I think I probably was just like, you should feed on my nipple. But like, obviously as a kid, I didn't think yeah, anything of it. Innocent. And then mm-hmm. when she did it, I was obviously just like, oh, oh, this is nice. Something you awakened. continue doing yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something and, awakened. Um, something awakened. But then also what awakened was she didn't play with me after that um, experience Aww. and suddenly like disappeared from like the little holiday home complex and I was just like oh my god what no. did I do wrong the shame yeah, the she shame like yeah 
so basically I got shamed or or like I shamed myself Mm -hmm. in that moment and quite often kinks and fetishes come from those moments where you felt shame for experiencing something sexual about your body that you didn't understand at that point in time I mean that's and someone made you feel like it was wrong yeah I mean that's literally where my tickling fetish comes from it's just all down to shame or shaming myself rather than being shameful mm-hmm. and just being like that was an experience that I shouldn't have felt that kind of way about and now I do yeah and, yeah and then it just builds up into a sexual arousal yeah I, 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 sexual arousal. I, I didn't really know that I enjoyed it until I then watched that working mums episode uh-huh. where yeah the she was having the, that affair and someone was drinking from her like mil- like hard milky breasts to like relieve her and I was just like wait now, wait a second <laughs> that's turning me on mm. a lot I love these things this is why we need to talk about sex more because think about all that pleasure you could have been having all your life and we haven't allowed ourselves because mm-hmm. we buried it in shame and embarrassment and repressed it even like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm so much happier now I'm honest and open about my tickling fetish because yeah. I just felt like it was a part of me a, a huge part of my identity and my sexuality that I had to hide yeah no thank you never it again I I find it, I'm finding it always hard to find partners that are like into what I like as mm-hmm. well. Cause I think there's a bit of a, like a taboo there for yeah. maybe especially, actually anyone, any gender mm-hmm. to suck from a boob as if like, you know, in a, not just playing with your boobs in a sexual way, mm-hmm. but like actually just fully suckling on someone's boob because it's like, oh, you know, that's, weird because babies do it for Uh mums and like it feels like the age regression play Mm -hmm. and like all of that stuff and I think people get weirded out by it yeah Um, when it's like they probably the more weirded out by it you are more than likely you're just yeah it's turning you on and you're just pushing it away I mean yeah. that's feel it's like the projection right like oh no that's disgusting but really you're like secretly <laughs> masturbating over it yeah <sighs> frustrating oh. eh? uh, my ex actually he wasn't like into it but he kind of became interested in it for me mm-hmm. which was really sweet well yeah you can you can learn kinks off of people and you can learn mm-hmm. to enjoy things because your partner enjoys them and you see the pleasure it gives them and therefore it, it gives you pleasure yeah it's yeah. so interesting i love all this shit so this shit interesting mm. Mm. um did, <clears throat> did do you remember being a teenager and like like fooling around with people with boys and them grabbing your tits so hard i i i remember being at house parties and like i honestly feeling like my tips of tits were being ripped away from me wow yeah it was um, it was a lot Yeah, that does sound like a lot. I don't think I experienced that. I think maybe that I definitely have people grabbing my boobs, but I never had like, I don't, maybe because yours are more sensitive, it felt like more painful for you. Yes. But I don't think I ever found it painful, but I didn't necessarily find it. I was like, this is turning you on. It's not turning me on. Like if someone actually just grabs my whole boob, it doesn't really do anything for me. It has to be like, Mm. Um, or like a massage of some kind the thing is I don't think the grab for me I should stop touching my boobs um, the, I know it's, I keep doing it as well when we're, <laughs> it's so hard not to talk it's not it's so hard not to touch your boobs when you're talking about boobs <laughs> um uh so boobs um what were we talking about I keep thinking about, I just want to touch my tits um <laughs> So I, I think grabbing and massaging my boobs like feels nice, mm-hmm. but I think what turns me on most of all is, you know, that really sort of like light play, that light tickle yeah. along the skin yeah. of the boob. That drives me wild. But when it's just mm. like a grab, especially, oh, the thing is I love, love bondage. I love shibari, but I never liked seeing women's boobs in bondage like that. You know, and it's like no. really tight and painful um that was Ooh, never no, a no. that was never a turn on from one yeah i like it when i <laughs> with, i like it when i'm with a partner and they like push 
like kind of grab both my boobs with yes, each hand and together. then like push them together so they're like it makes them look bigger and when they like suck on them in that respect mm. i really love mm, yeah like, i don't know just, what it is because they kind of move. fill in their hands but i think it's more like a visual thing as well mm-hmm. and the fact that like i'm they're like holding me like yeah, that like so hot caring for my titties but that's a very porn move like, is that something, like, that's what we see in porn where it's like, oh, titch in the middle, grabbing the tits. You know, like, I fucking do that on OnlyFans. I'm grabbing my tits like, oh, tits, you know? It's like, uh, am I don't I, know. I think for me, it's thing? like, so like, both the nipples are like really close to their mouth and then they can just sort of go from one boob to the yeah, other. Yeah, it's, it's easy access. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've talked about not, liking your nipples i mean we we talk about not liking parts of our body but how do Mm. we actually learn to love our nipples learn to love our boobs what's the secret i feel like with all of these things it's when you start seeing other people's bodies and seeing that everyone is so different and that kind of helps you accept your own body in that way yeah i remember being at a party a house party and all the girls and in, in, went in one room from reason we all started getting our tits out and looking at each other's boobs and it was a really almost like magical experience because i was yeah. like oh I, I think we were each like oh i don't like my boobs and everyone was like oh my god your boobs are amazing what like it was very warming and it made it made me see my boobs in a different way because also everyone yeah. else's boobs are so fucking different it wasn't like this porn tit that i had been uh, brainwashed to believe was the only sexual looking boob it was this everyone's boobs just look so different i was like wow that's so cool <laughs> yeah i think that's a really good point mm-hmm. and i think it just comes with age and it comes with not watching like generic porn yeah you know all of those things and and being well again being like sucked into what the perfect body Mm -hmm. looks like actually just look yeah looking at a wide range of people which is why it's really important to look at ethical porn because they have you know multitude of different and i think it also i hate the way that this is a thing but having other people really appreciate your body helps you appreciate it And I've never thought that my boobs were like anything special. I've always just been like, you know, I have very average boobs. Like I like them, Mm -hmm. but they're like, I I never would think that someone thought they were amazing. Mm -hmm. And my ex said to me like all the time that my boobs were his favorite boobs that he had ever seen and ever touched and ever (laughs) played with. And it made me feel so good Mm -hmm. about myself and yeah, I, I, I feel like I saw my boobs and my nipples in a different way after mm. having that relationship. Yeah, I, I, it does help. It's annoying that we have to be validated by other people, but it, uh, it works. This is why it's so important yeah. that when you are with somebody else to compliment them, to go out of your way to, yes. and not just complimenting them on their looks, but also, you know, every yeah. every other part about them. If you're turned on by something about your partner and you like think that it's hot, say it. Yeah, yeah. Just always say it. Yeah. Always compliment. If you're loving something, give it a compliment. Get into the habit of being complimented yeah. to about your partner. And I think we forget, we go through phases, especially if we're in long relationships, where we forget to compliment our partner. Um, we don't yeah, want to compliment definitely. our partner because we're annoyed at them or frustrated, but it's so important mm-hmm. to hear that, that... Um, like, oh my god you look fucking amazing today or like holy shit your back has always been so delicious you know like yeah. there's so many things oh. that you can say um yeah so cute yeah. i feel like we cannot end this episode without talking about nipple toys oh i was gonna say we need to talk about taking pictures of our boobs as well you know to help with feeling comfortable about our boobs like Mm -hmm. taking nudes with your tits with the parts of your bodies that you don't feel comfortable about take that's the whole 30 day nude challenge baby baby (laughs) baby (laughs) but yeah nipple toys because there's a lot on the market and there's a lot of different Mm -hmm. ones there's like nipple clamps there's the suction ones Mm -hmm. there's like pump 
ones. Yeah, there's loads. I have yet to find a nipple toy slash apparatus that I like love. Yeah, same. It's really hard. Because the nipple, the sucking ones, the sucking vibrating ones are so hard and they're too much. The first time I put one of those suction things on my nipple, I was like, ow. Ow. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Like it hurt way more than I thought it was going to hurt. I've got some nipple clamps, but they look very fetishy. You know, they look very Mm. BDSM. And I don't mind it, but like they're often not made out of metal and they're really heavy. I do have some really pretty ones. Um, yeah. uh, one of my one of my girls got me a pair of like they're they're like Coco de Mer nipple I don't know like ribbons like they're almost oh. like nipple jewellery and they're beautiful and you put them on and you sort of tie them on um, and that's really nice but again they're hard to stay on they don't really stay on I feel like that's the way with all nipple toys really they're quite hard to stay on unless you've yeah. got like the erect nipples or again clamps which just hold on but they can be really painful sometimes i yeah personally like i like people nibbling Mm -hmm. on my nipples but like when people bite that just (gasps) hurts too much can't do a bite and i feel like that's the same pain Mm. that you get from nipple clamps yeah you need to make sure you buy the right one so instead of the ones that are like crocodile clips that are Mm. spring and you press down and then you let go i think those are the ones that hurt what you need are the ones that have screws in so they're Uh like crocodile clips but you can screw it so it stops when you want it to so it doesn't pinch all the way um i also had a really nice pair somewhere i need to find them but they're they're a bit they're they're like they were pretty and they had four screws that went sort of inwards like that so you would you would screw each side so it would like dig in and it didn't hurt um and it would sort of like kind of encapsulate your nipple in a square oh Um, that's cool and and they worked really well they look really pretty but again they just didn't stick on stay on for too long because i didn't want to screw them on tight enough for them to like hurt me (laughs) so it's just like as soon as my nipples get like i get really turned on i get warm and then the flaccid nip comes then i'm like oh right i've lost it lost it again (laughs) bye yeah yeah (laughs) <laughs> yeah I, I I yeah so I don't know personally what I really I don't think I've experimented enough with nipple toys because I just love sucking so much we need more nipple toys out there I think yeah. um what I'd want would be like almost like a chest like a bra that you put on that had like mm. some kind of vibrating thing that worked its way around the outside of the nipple and then centered Ooh. to the inside and some kind oh my of God, like that would be super cool I don't know, like vibrating, moving thing that you can put lube in as well. Like that would be so good. But then that's also difficult to manufacture because everyone's boobs and nipples are so different. You would need to make like the male chest one. But that would be ideal for me. Please can someone make that for me? And if they want to partner up, I will will join in. (laughs) We can (laughs) test it on my tits. Yeah, that sounds brilliant. Yeah. And, you know, there's always the clit sucker toys, which are yeah. great they are for good. nipples yeah. as well. Get them lubed. Oh, yeah. I mean, massaging, like oils, lubricants yeah. for nips are good. Yeah. But again, it's hard to do like the mouth to nip to lube situation because lubes are a bit... Mm. Yeah. Well, this has been lovely <laughs> talking about nipples for how long, ever long we've been I know, fucking for. hell. Yeah, we like to talk about <laughs> nips, it seems. Definitely. Um, yeah, my eyes. You that. can't see them, but they are erect right now. They're excited for this conversation. Oh. Mine are like half warm. Half mask. No, mine are just warms. <laughs> <laughs> warm. Um, but yes, cur- warm. <laughs> curious fuckers, we hope you've enjoyed this episode about nipple play. If you want to yeah. share this app to anyone you've spoken to about nipples, then please do, because obviously that helps us out and spreads the good word of come curious. Yeah, leave a rating and a review, please, because mm-hmm. we love to see the reviews. We should start reading out the reviews to get people to... Yeah, that would be cute. Write them. Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. If you love us and you haven't left a review, like, you don't really love us. So Yeah, innit? You better... 
write a review get your act do all the good together. things as well like on on spotify download it star it heart it share it like do all of them good yeah, things and, all of and it. write a review on apple Podcasts because it helps us get to the leaderboard you know um yeah. you can keep up to date with our instagram account and our twitter account at come curious as well as find mm-hmm. florence and i at our own personal accounts read amber x and florence bark yeah and if you want some cool merchandise head over to www.comecurious.co.uk you can get a tote bag stickers t-shirt mm. got it all oh yeah i masturbate in my come curious t-shirt quite a bit it's really it's good wow. fabric for nipple play great <laughs> great to know that's very good to nice. know yeah okay <laughs> curious fuckers we will see you next thursday see you next thursday bye bye